So this is a video for practicing shifts. There are a lot of skills involved here and I'm going to demonstrate them here and then you can use them both for your shifts and for your other work. So I've chosen E major here because it's got quite a few shifts. So the first thing to do is work out where your shifts are, how far you're moving and then practice them. So we start. So that's our first shift. So you have to work out what the distance is here. So you're going from third to first. So first finger is where the third usually is. This is second position. Third finger back to first position. So you're moving back a tone. So you can practice that just as the distance on both strings. You practice that back and forth. Probably use a tuner for that just to make sure you're in tune. Then you can go from move the shift back from the fourth finger. So then you can use the intermediate notes there on the on the shift. So after you've practiced that, you do that with the next one. That's going back first position to half position. So you do the same thing, and then. When we get so this is where we are, half position going into upper third position. So you practice that one, that's from D sharp to G sharp. directions again. So you practice each shift individually, use your tuner and at that point you can then start working your way through the scale. Now when you get to the top octave you've got so there's your third octave. So the way I would do that is with loops. So again using the intermediate note on the shift, so you're shifting one one. And you can just work find a rhythm that's comfortable. So Shift, shift up and down both directions. So then you then you play it once or twice with the intermediate notes with the intermediate notes back in, and then you can take them out. And then once you've practiced that a little bit, you can practice a few loops. So, Just find a few loops and depending on whether you've got two, three, four, five notes in it, you'll have a slightly different rhythm. But just try and keep it going, just try and keep playing. And as long as you keep moving and you keep repeating, the scale will, be, will probably get easier.